Hey guys, this is Clay with a new tutorial. Um, now I'm going to be showing you another Photoshop tutorial. <coughs> um, this tutorial, uh, this technique that I'm going to show you can be used mostly in comics and that sort of stuff. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool blurring kind of effect, like, like if you were going extremely fast, um, like the time warp kind of fast. <laughs> um, that's probably the only way I know how to explain it. Well, all right. So, um, hold on one second. I got it. All right. So I um, I had to just change this image's um, file type. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here. Uh, there we go. And I'm gonna take my uh, marquee toy. Toy. Tool. <laughs> marquee toy. I can't talk today. Uh, okay. So I'm just gonna find this sprite. I'm gonna take Kirby on a warp star. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go file new. Find file. Okay. And then I'm gonna paste this in here. Okay, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Here so you guys can see it a little bit better. Alright, so now I'm going to go down here to this little finger that's called the smudge tool, okay? And then, down here, you want to make sure that you have this brush selected, um, I think it's this one. Yeah, that one. Um, it's kind of like a splash of blood or paint or something, so I can describe it. But anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go around the little edges on this side, well, depending on the way you want to move. I'm going to make them go forward, so I'm going to go over here, and then we're just going to kind of brush out like that. Alright, so now, we do that, if we zoom out, okay, let's view the full pictures. Alright, so there you go, you can see that he's kind of, looks like he's going in, like, really fast forward. Um, we can go a little bit more in, and there you go. So, yeah, he's moving really fast. And then this could also be used for some other purposes, like I'm going to go in here, and I'll just get a picture of a truck off of Google, I guess. Um, yeah, this will be good enough. So I'll save this as that, I guess. Um, then let's go by Lobin. Pictures. Software, jet, truck, whatever the heck this thing is. And then I'm just gonna get the bigger, the bigger version of this. Okay. And then go like this. So yeah, you can see that kind of makes it look like it's moving pretty fast. If I go up on this playing also a little bit. Um, kind of messes up the plane, but, because it's at an angle, but yeah, see, as you can see, it looks like the truck is going fast. Like, really, really fucking fast. <laughs> so, you know, let's go a little bit around it, and see the distortion, because that's what will happen if you're actually looking at it going that fast. It would kind of be distorted. Alright, so yeah, this has just been a quick little tutorial on how to make a quick little blurring effect with uh, Adobe Photoshop. Um, I know that this will work in uh, element 6, I think it will work in element 5. Not sure about the other elements, uh, models, or uh, versions, I guess you would call it, the program. Um, and I'm pretty sure this will work with the CS Creative Suite uh, models. But again, I don't have those, so I'm not quite sure. So, yeah, this has been Clay with a new tutorial. Um, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. So, see ya!